Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. What does your company do? Have you ever Googled yourself? Totally. What makes a great entrepreneur? What's your next big idea? Tweeting's like my favorite. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. Gift Tiki is a new way to gift people as a group. Brian Jowers is a co-founder of Gift Tiki. Well, here we are on the Valley Girl Show from Rocket Space with Brian Jowers of Gift Tiki. So how are you doing? I'm awesome. Good, good. I'm on the Valley Girl Show. You're on the Valley Girl Show. <laughs> I've been dying, dying to get you on the show. Well, thanks. Because you excited. guys have been, I met you at South by Southwest like two years ago. Yeah, it's been a long road. It's been, it's, it's been a long road. It's been a long road. But There's a long road ahead, too. So. so first off, what is Gift Tiki? Gift Tiki is, uh, it's a collaborative gifting uh, website that really we concentrate on being able to celebrate events. We concentrate kind of a little bit on birthdays. Um, for I love people. birthdays. And, uh, Best day of the year, exactly. as far as I'm concerned. And you have one every year, yeah. so it's awesome. And it allows people to be able to gift back and forth, um, sometimes include money, but it's doing a little bit more than just uh, writing on somebody's wall, happy birthday. It's, it's like giving them something. Precisely. And it's what, so you can gift them uh, gifts, right? You can do it on their Facebook wall. You do it on the Facebook wall. So how does so, that work? So say I wanted to start a gift tiki for you because it's, it's your birthday coming up. I, uh, I send you a couple of bucks and we have a whole bunch of friends that are in common. So I add them to the group, basically the group card and I get them to sign um, the card as well. So by the end of the day, you might have 10 of your friends that have sent you a couple of bucks. Well, each one of those gifts might not mean a whole lot, but together you have an awesome birthday you wouldn't have had before. And what's pretty rad is we've had birthday events and birthday gifts of people that have had 20, 30, 40 of their friends chip in a couple of bucks where they walk away with four, five, six, seven hundred dollars oh my gosh. of a gift that they wouldn't have had before. These are, these are people that typically would not have gifted that person. So it's actually a, it's kind of a, it's a new way of doing collaborative gifting. I like that because there are so many times too that people give you a gift and you're like, oh, thank you so much, but we don't go you don't after. want it. But even if you did want to give a gift to your someone close to you, like your, mm -hmm. you know, mom, dad, sister, brother, whatever, yep. um, you you could be like, okay, well, I know they want an iPad and I know they want, and I think they might want an iPhone. I'm not sure which one, so maybe yeah. we all just pool our resources and then they can use it towards whichever. So We put the power in the recipient's hands. Have you ever been gifted something that you didn't want? <laughs> Man, that's a sticky question. <laughs> no, they've all been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sure along the road there's been something, but uh, nothing really, st oh, how about you? You've gotten something, haven't you? I'm sure I've gotten something. You know that there's those times that someone gives you something and you're like, oh, thank you so much for this, like, Elephant-shaped <laughs> cookie jar. Why did you start Gift Tiki? Mm -hmm. So Gift Tiki was born really from my co-founder, Justin. He had the idea of, you know, it's it's so-and-so's birthday, I want to do a little bit more than just write on their wall. And also, like, he he explained the scenario where he, he for his birthday, he got a couple of cards from his aunt, his mom, and when he added up all, like, the, the, the postage and the actual card, the offline behavior, he could have actually gone to the magic game that he really wanted to go to, uh, the, the Orlando Magic game. So he was like, why, why can I just not make this more efficient and make this an online behavior? It all started with a basketball game. <laughs> it all started with a basketball game. Now so much of fun. Got it! Where were you based originally? We've been on a, uh, on a road map, uh, starting, uh, starting in Texas. Okay. And then we went through an incubator. Within 10 days of finding out we were in the accelerator, we were in Cincinnati. And then before uh, the, the round was closed, we were out in California. So, so you moved in 10 days. I have very little, I have, I have a commitment issue thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not I a commitment I, issue. I can't, I can't commit because I never know where I'm going to be the next That's day. That's not a commitment issue. That it's means an you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> that means you're just like, oh, I got to make this company work. We're in Cincinnati That's now. That's exactly and, right. Okay, now it. we're in Silicon Valley. Tell me about this thing you're doing with Sofia Vergara. We're really stoked. Who I love. Yeah, she's awesome. She's so funny. I haven't met anyone that doesn't like her. If anyone doesn't know, she's the, the, the mom off of uh, uh, Modern Family and a bunch of other things. Great show. But uh, we started working a lot with Hollywood over the last, uh, over the summer. And one of the things we're going to do is we're giving the opportunity for a celebrity generally once a month 
to be able to donate their birthday to a charity of their cause. Oh, that's like so great. Own. And Sophia has her own charity called Dreams Without Borders. Okay. And uh, it helps Latino children to be able to uh, go and experience the world beyond what they normally were able to do. And we are able to create this whole unique personal experience for her to be able to connect with her fans. And her fans can go and sign a giant card that literally she gets and gets put in her dressing room and donate towards the charity. So it's, this, it's the idea of Giftiki going towards a charity for a celebrity. So it's, it's kind of unique, I but think it's, that's uh, great. it's really exciting to be able to get her fans engaged with a charity that she's really passionate about. Well, can I give her something Absolutely. for her birthday? Absolutely. So I want you to be the first person to actually gift Sophia, which will be great because... Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so here you go. So this would be her card. Okay, so this is her And you can be one of the first card. people to actually sign and you can doodle whatever you want. If you want to put a horse on there, whatever it might be. You can so do whatever. I could draw a picture you or write her. I you could write her a love letter. It's gonna go right in the middle of her dressing room. I'm gonna write her a love letter. Dear Sophia, I love you. I want to write. I really liked it when you got mad at Jay for taking showers with the um, Jay? Frenchy bulldog with the French bulldog. Oh, yeah. But I just, I don't know if I can fit all of that. <laughs> so, um. You can draw a picture of the dog. Modern. Oh, that's a good idea. Bam. I'm abbreviating now. Rocks. Okay, yes, I'm definitely drawing a bulldog. Okay, they have that little French. How, what does a bulldog tail look like? A French bulldog. Like the little one, is it like curly? No we're gonna pretend it's like now a pig. Now we're gonna get in trouble for not knowing. It, we're gonna, it's gonna be like a pig tail. But it's a really cute little. Now it looks. Like... So that's a pig for sure. That's perfect. <laughs> XO, the Valley Girl. There we go. I'm really proud of it. Let's see it. That's awesome. That's perfect. <laughs> if every fan was that uh, adoring, then then we're onto something. So um, okay, I have a question for you, just as an entrepreneur. Go. I feel like entrepreneurs are always, you know, coming up with new ideas. Like, how do we get this out there? How do we do this? How do you brainstorm? <laughs> I don't sit down and say this is my brainstorming time unless I really have to. Um, it just generally, it's it kind of goes with the flow. And really, it's about the people you put around you. It's it's my team. It's my advisors. It's the it's the it's the environment that you're around okay. that really leads to brainstorming. Um, the, the so do you talk it? Do you talk it out with them? All the time. Yeah. People people probably get sick of me talking ideas out with them. Um, but <laughs> that's how you get them out there. What's really fun is when people realize that you, you do what you get to do on a daily basis. They pitch you your their ideas because they want feedback on what's going on. So it's 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 just a it's a natural cycle of all these ideas going back and forth, um, and you'll find yourself in a room with a whiteboard. So you'll start drawing it out, and then all of a sudden you've just drawn out this most amazing. Or really stupid idea, but at least you've gone through the like the exciting like you went process. For it. Yeah, exactly. It's more important to actually talk the ideas out with typical users and typical people, because it's it's those people that are driving what you're doing and making sure that like you're actually onto something as opposed to just making your own idea sound cool. Because it's it's the users that really uh, react to your products and and validate what you're doing. Okay, what is one piece of advice you would leave for a new entrepreneur just starting out? <laughs> You've learned so much, especially these past couple of years. Absolutely. Uh, so there's, I, 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 I do a lot of talks and uh, I, 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 I work with a lot of uh, younger um, entrepreneurs in, in, in their stage. And one of the things that I really, I think is super important for them to, to really think about is putting the right mentors around them. No matter where you're at in your, in your career, your stage, and whatever you're doing, whether you're an entrepreneur or not, um, having the right mentors is key because not only can they guide you on what you're doing, but they can connect you and get you moving in a much faster clip. So I think that's, that's something that's really important. I like that. And how do you stay, how do you stay um, excited about what you're doing? <laughs> You know, I, I lucked into being able to do something I really enjoy as, I guess, a job. Um, so it's not, it's not something I have to work on to stay excited about. This is what I do. This is what I really love. 
And I guess everyone in my position is always afraid of like, what happens if you don't get to keep doing it? Right. Um, so it's it's not a it's not a fear of like staying excited. It's a fear of like what happens if something changes where I don't get to keep do, keep doing this. Um, it's uh, it's just something I love. So that passion is kind of just driving you to just yeah, it's natural. As long as you're doing what you really love, then everything else falls into place. Well, you are so fantastic, well, Brian. Thank you. I love what you're doing with Gift Tiki, and I just can't wait. I can't wait to see my my note go to Sophia. And I know. You guys are about to be everywhere. Well, I'm excited because uh, I th we're getting to do something that's really cool, and uh, it's, uh, it's a fun product to work on. I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Brian Jowers with Gift Tiki. Go Gift Tiki. Go Gift Tiki. Go Gift Tiki. You should be our, Go you should, you should be our dancer. I could, we need one. I'll make up a whole cheer. Oh, man. That's what we need. Uh, That's the thing we're missing. Yeah. You are missing a Valley Girl cheerleader for Gift Tiki. I need it. I'm, you're in. You're hired. Done. Yes! And now it's time for your dits moment. Well, here we are on the Valley Girl Show at Rocket Space with Brian Jowers of Gift Let me start over. Hold on. One sec. 